Welcome back guys, this is Ole K Chuck one and we are playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. We are in the lovely city of Stuttgart. We're about to pick up a special kind of delivery. You can see it way over there in the distance. We can see it way over there. I'm not actually sure if we can haul this, but this might be a bit of a struggle. We're going to Lyon, which I'm sure I probably butchered, but I'm trying to France. We haven't been there yet. It's probably as far southwest as you can go without any mods so there it is sitting over there let's see we can go pick this puppy up it is of course the uh, the Abrams tank do, 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 do. they couldn't have put it further back here hey all right that is what we want Let's see if we can get it. Alright, we are hooked up. Let's take a quick look at the map to see where we're going. Get a rough idea here. Okay, because I'm hoping that these are proper big highways. Not little ones. It looks like they are. This looks like it might be sort of for, uh, rural roads, which is probably not a good idea. I don't know if you can readjust the GPS. It would make sense to take this thing down this road instead. So I think actually when we get there, we're going to, to do that because this looks like hilly, curvy, tight roads, turns. Probably not the best place to take a tank on your little boy in the back. So let's see how that goes. Okay, ready to go, are we? About as ready as we're gonna be. Let's see if we can even... Ooh. If we can even get this puppy out of here. Puppy's probably not the right word. Oh, we can definitely feel the weight. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna be going uh, along any kind of rural uh, roads. We're gonna stick to the main highways with this baby. It's just too large. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Let's look at it. It's humongous. All right. Can't even. Usually, I can get started in fourth gear with this guy. No double shifting here. I think. Even third gear seems to be a struggle to get started. So we'll see how that goes. So now, uh, since we last played, this is the 10th episode of this game. Um, we have expanded to a second garage right here in Stuttgart. And we have five employees now, including myself, I guess, if I count myself. Which is pretty cool. We still, uh, we have a lot of money to pay back now, though. Every day, it's like seven grand or something like that. Maybe even more. Alright, you lovely people, I need to get over there. At some point, I'm hauling a tank. Are you gonna let me merge? Maybe? Kinda? If I threaten you a little? There he goes. Let's me in. Good. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you kind of make way when there's a semi-trailer next to you with an Abrams tank on the back that wants to get into your lane, I think you're going to slow down and make some space. It's just my thoughts on the matter. That's what I would do when I'm driving. So we are heading due south first into southern Germany and then into France. This will be the first test. This is only a small on-ramp, but oh yeah, puppy's heavy. Do it, you could do it, you could do it. See, even that's a little painful. So I checked the uh, SCS software blog before this. This is the makers of this game. Uh, because I wanted to check on if there was any updated news on American Truck Simulator, which we talked briefly about in the last episode. 
There isn't really a whole lot. They just had a few screenshots that have been there for a while. Uh, but they did say that that's something that they're going to be working on quite heavily over the next few months, which is cool to see. But they also today uh, posted uh, a little... Sorry, they didn't post it today, but I saw it. It was about uh, six days ago or so. Posted uh, a little thank you note, I guess based on the success of the DLC, the Going East DLC. Which, uh, and then they also mentioned that they're going to continue supporting Euro Truck Simulator 2 with new content and stuff like that. And they posted a screenshot of a, uh, a Volvo cabin with a Halloween theme. It was basically a big pumpkin, uh, which looked pretty cool. So I wonder if we're going to see that as some sort of downloadable gimmick or what that's going to be for. see how fast this is going to push us down this this hill again I'm using the uh, track IR system like I did last time which I really enjoy because look like these kind of motions are great to see what's going on next to you even though I got my own lane here I don't really need to worry about merging oh no I lied I do need to worry about merging so <clears throat> oh buddy what are you doing Crazy. This guy, I guess, needed to get off. <clears throat> almost missed your exit, but almost got pulverized in the side of a tank. Not very smart driving, sir. Quick sip of the juice. So this tank, obviously, this uh, trailer was not part of the original game. This was added by a mod. I have all the mods linked in the description in case you want to check them out. Next time what we'll drive, we'll... Uh, See, I was I was trying, still trying to go east. It's more difficult to go east than you'd think when you're actually going with whatever is available on the freight market. And uh, when I saw this, I was like, well, it's taking us west, but you know what? Two things. A, it's a tank. And B, we haven't been to Lyon yet, so might as well head on over there. How are we fitting in here? We're a little far on the right, huh? Oh, we should probably have the beacon light on. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I think that's it. There we go. Yeah, with this kind of load, we should have all the lights on that we have, especially since it's going to be getting dark, but we are going to sleep tonight. We are not driving through the night with this thing. No siree, Bob. Not going to happen. I'll also have to get gas. Gas and, gas and a nap in, I would say, about three hours. Roughly around that time. So American Truck Simulator, I would suspect, will come soonish. Uh, I read the blog post and then it had posted actually a screenshot of one of the trucks. It posted that in April or March, so that was quite a while ago. But uh, they talked about how the performance is going to be even better because it uses uh, like half the polygons as the most detailed truck in Euro Truck Simulator 2, but still looks just as stunning because of improvements they've done to the engine and stuff like that. I don't know... I mean, I have a, a, a gaming PC built for first-person shooters like Battlefield 4, so this game it doesn't break a sweat, <clears throat> but I know some of you guys are playing this on, on on computers that you wouldn't be playing Battlefield 4 on, so any kind of optimization is probably welcome news. I would imagine. Let's have a look. It's nice scenery here. I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about speed traps, because I don't really see us going much faster than 90. Um... I have a feeling this might be our top speed. I could shift again, but I have a feeling if I get into 12th gear, we're going to just uh, slowly peter out. Yeah, see, even just this little incline here made the truck work a little more. So it'd be cool. I don't know if they're going to do another DLC for your truck simulator too. That would be interesting, but I still have yet to try out the Pro Mod even. Uh, I have it downloaded. I haven't installed it yet. That's the one that unlocks uh, Scandinavia and some of the northern countries. Which some of my friends have played and quite enjoyed it, so it's pretty cool. Right now, I'm mostly focused on uh, making some money for the company again, and I'm still contemplating switching from Scania trucks to Volvo trucks. We'll see. But um, at this point, I'm happy with this one. We just gotta build up the, the bank book again a little bit. 
before we can make any other expenses. We still have room for one more employee that we could hire in the garage in Stuttgart. Of course, we can also upgrade those, but the reason that I bought a second garage, like I said in the previous video, was so that I could quick travel. Whoops. At my keyboard tray. I wonder if we should... No, we probably shouldn't. It's too early to sleep, and we still have gas for another 400 kilometers. If we stick to these large highways, we should be fine as far as hitting other rest stops on a regular basis. Now we're in 12th gear. Took a bit of a chance here. We'll see how well this is going to work out. You can see the RPMs are drying. Dying slowly. This would definitely not be a good truck to take through the mountains. But we should theoretically be better on gas with this in 12th gear. I guess. Are we leaving a country? We are entering Switzerland, I think, if I see that correctly. Yep, leaving Germany, entering Switzerland. So we are getting... Well, we're making decent time. I was looking around the internet today. I was uh, tempted by a, uh, a gift card for Future Shop, which... Uh, which is owned by Best Buy, so think of it as uh, like a Canadian version of Best Buy. That guy better not make a mistake. Uh, it's basically, yeah, it's the uh, Canadian equivalent, even though we do have Best Buy here in Canada as well, but that was more recent. You know, they sell the kind of stuff that you'd find at Best Buy, electronics and games and computer stuff and TVs and appliances and all that, all that stuff. Oh boy. This is not, this is not, this is not going to work. I don't care, I had to take that sign out because look, 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 we're still stuck on the thing back there. I knew it. See? These, these turns are not made for trailers like mine. Dude, better look out. These guys, these guys. Alright, you're gonna just squeeze by. That is one thing I wish that the AI is not very, uh... It's not very forgiving. It is not willing to help out at all. I may need to switch to the overhead camera here just because... <laughs> I feel like we're really close. How are we back here? Have we cleared that? Nope. Oh shit, man. This is the best way to get ourselves stuck. This might make for a good thumbnail, actually. <clears throat> This right here, let's hold on for a second, sorry. I need to do this. This must be done. There, that shall be the video's thumbnail. Or this. Alright, let's get our GPS back on, even though the, the, the challenge here is pretty clear. We don't need a GPS for that. I don't know how I'm gonna get past that and around that corner. <laughs> no, see, we're, we are hung up on the back there. We are hung up in the back, and this, these guys will not move. They just won't move. They don't care, so you know what we're gonna do? No, we can't go down the wrong ramp either. Fuck! So I don't usually swear on these videos, but I don't know what else to do. There we go. There we go. We made it. You know what? I don't think the game dinged us for any di any damage. Wouldn't that be a kick in the ass now if we were on the wrong ramp? For a moment I had a flashback to one of my trips to England where I did something similar to this and I almost got stuck and then it turned out it was the wrong ramp. I went down an off ramp instead of an on ramp and it was not pretty. It was not pretty at all. all right. Crisis averted. All we did was take out one lamppost. It wasn't even a lamppost, it was just a sign. Eh. Blame it on the weather. <laughs> Clearly it's very windy out here, you can tell, right? I mean, look at the weather. It looks downright stormy. S traffic signs get blown over by Mother Nature all the time. It's not like there's video evidence or anything. 
Oops, I see. It didn't do that to me last time, but I think last time I was sipping from a coffee mug, not a juice bottle. That cost us a little bit of time. This is lane end again. Lean forward to see further. That's what I like about track art. You can almost like, uh, can you see better? Nope, can't see better. Anybody coming to merge? Nope. Uh, I've completely lost track of what I was talking about before. Trucks, Volvos, ProMod, money for the company, an extra slot still available for another employee. Maybe that's what it was. But basically, I'm going to try to pick my jobs not so much on based on financial reasons but I want to try to explore as much of the map as possible so if I have an opportunity uh, to get to a city that I haven't been to before I'm going to take it so in this case it was like I said earlier it was uh, two positives for it going to a city I hadn't been to before hauling a, an Abrams tank I like sticking my head out the window when I make these left merges I don't know if it really does anything you can also look down Turn off the uh, right side view mirror, the virtual one. This guy. I got rid of that. Which is actually a little bit more challenging because I was able to use that quite frequently by just by glancing over to it to see how I was staying within the white line on the right side of me. Which now I have to look over there. Which is dangerous because this shit happens. These road markings for those kind of exits are not well done. It seems like a really narrow road. Ooh, it's, it is, it is very... I can't look. I can't look. So, oh, this is the other thing that I wanted to talk about. I was I was talking about Future Shop. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I remember it. Um, I, I received a gift card a while ago, and I was, you know, it was only $75 or $100 total, actually, and so I was, I'm looking around for things to to spend it on. You know, what can I get for my gaming hobby or something? Or just my entertainment hobby that would improve or somehow give me further enjoyment in my hobby. And I ended up not coming uh, coming up with anything, really. Because everything that I, I want... This is the problem when adults buy toys, by the way. For those of you who are younger, uh, toys only get more expensive. And then... You know, someone says, here's a hundred bucks, buy yourself something nice. And it's like, yeah, no, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> oh, great fucking rain. Uh, so, you know, you guys, I've talked about the steering wheel here that I'm using. And I have a feeling this is going to end again. Yep, again. And you can see it, obviously, on the wheel cam. It is a uh, Thrustmaster Ferrari GT, I think is what it's called. It's not a bad wheel. You know, it attaches fairly nicely to my desk. It has a gas and a brake pedal. It has the paddle shifters. Um, holy crap, it's foggy. I can barely see anything. Uh, and a thunderstorm. Awesome. It might be time to just go to sleep, so next rest up, we're gonna go sleep. I'm getting scared. Uh, anywho, um, so this wheel is okay. You know, it was pretty cheap. I think I paid 50 bucks for it on Amazon. And uh, it certainly helps the immersiveness of the game. But, there's a few things it doesn't do. Uh, it's turning radius is only, I think, about 200 degrees. So what I mean is that when I turn the wheel all the way to the right or all the way to the left, it doesn't go all that far. Like, you can't turn this thing all the way around like you would be able to do in, a, in an actual real-life car. Sorry. I gotta focus. Oh, shh. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, never mind. We'll just look right past that. So, that's a good example of how this wheel actually. One of my challenges is the. In order to get the steering to be somewhat workable in here with this particular wheel, because in the game, the truck steering wheel will turn around in an entire. do an entire rotation several times. 
until you hit, you know, get your tires all the way turned to one side or the other. This wheel can't do that, so I have to play with the uh, control sliders in the game to get it to be usable without it being super uh, sensitive, and it, it kind of is at this point. It's, it's a little bit hypersensitive, which is why anytime I have to make an adjustment like that, it it gets, it's really easy to do a little bit too much and then the whole thing just, you know, stuff happens like just happened there to me. Um, so anyway, so I was looking at, out of curiosity, because uh, some of the other guys that partake in the trucking simulation genre um, use different wheels than mine. And they use, uh, I think they're Logitech G27 or 25s, I'm not actually too sure. But uh, they're, they're of that brand or family. So I looked at those, and those things started basically 300 bucks. So it's like, yeah, so, the, so that's what I mean when you start looking for toys when you're a little bit older, they get more expensive. So um, I want to put that on my Christmas wish list <laughs> and see what happens. But those kind of wheels will allow you to turn the wheel much more accurately. I, I've had some comments in the video in the past that the way my wheel turns in relation to the wheel in the game doesn't match up. And that's absolutely true, but I can't make it match up because this wheel won't turn as far as that one up there will. I just, I can't, I mean, I can't make it do things that it's not designed for, so. Um, the other, you know, this thing only has paddle shifters. It doesn't have a clutch, it doesn't have a, a gearbox, there's no shifter for me to work with. So I'm just stuck with what it, what this is. Uh, the G27 has that as well. It, I think it has up to the... I think it's a, sh a six gear box. So with the help of a, a sort of a function button, you can get it to go all the way up to 12, which is what you'd want for this game. So it has a clutch. It makes that more realistic as well because the paddle shifters are great, but I can't really skip gears. I can only double shift. And, you know, it, it is... It... it it, uh, you get what you pay for, right? I mean, the $300 setup is going to be a lot far superior to the $50 setup, but again, even the $50 wheel is better than no wheel at all, I like to say, for this game. So, that's what I was, I was talking about before we had that little mishap. I'm actually kind of concerned now because we need gas soon. Need some more diesel, and we also need to sleep soon. Oh, speak of the devil. I saw in the GP. There we go. That's perfect. It's perfect because it's getting dark. We need to sleep. We need to fuel up. We need to call an end to this video. So it's all good. We'll just we won't think about the little mishap we had. The two mishaps. One of them was Mother Nature. The other one was. Oh, we'll blame it on the rain. Uh, and this wheel. That'll work, right? You guys won't tell on me. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching this, and hopefully you'll come back for the second part as we deliver this to Lyon in France. And um, like the video if you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. Links to all that stuff are in the video description. Now, so I think we need to gas up first. So we're going to go do that. And we'll find ourselves a nice spot to rest over there. Ah, a reprieve from the rain. I was going to turn the engine off to fuel up. I have forgotten how much uh, we actually earned for this trip, so this... We'll see. And I can see a spot right over there that looks perfect to park in. And it's not like we need to worry about anybody disrupting us while we sleep. We got a freaking tank on the back. Who's gonna want to try to rob us? This looks like a nice spot. This looks like a lovely place to spend the night. That's what we shall do. So, until next time, guys and gals, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.